everybody. Today we're going to make some basic shapes in Photoshop. So let's get a new file. We're going to make it nice and big. Let's say 1000 by 800. So we have lots of room to work with. We're going to use the magnifying glass to bring it up to 100% so we know what we're looking at. Grab the corner and pull across so that we're looking at the whole thing right there. Let's pick a color for our shape. So we click on here to bring up the color picker. Let's make it a nice dark blue right there. We'll click OK. There are a number of different ways to make basic shapes, but let's start off with the shape tool. Right now it is set to rectangles, but you can also make the rectangles with the little curved sides, or you can make circles, or you can make polygons. You can change the number of sides up here so it makes different numbers of them. This guy also makes lines, just like that. If you're wondering how I'm getting rid of stuff, I'm using the undo command, which is holding command Z. If you need to go back even further, then it's command option and Z. That'll step you back. And lastly is the custom shape tool. The custom shape tool lets you take these guys. They're pre-programmed into Photoshop. Sometimes you can download, well, not sometimes, you can always download more of these from the internet if you want to. Lots of different shapes live in here. You can click all to get all of them, or you can click on any of these guys to get very specific ones. Let's just click on all so we can show you what it looks like. We'll just click OK here, drag this open, and you've got all these custom shapes to play with. And all these custom shapes are nice and sharp, so you don't have to worry about drawing things. So if you're like, oh, I'd like a little star, you can click on the star guy here, come out to the regular thing. We're going to hold down shift to constrain the proportions so that it makes a nice, perfectly even star on all sides. Again, if we hold down the space bar with the shift key held, we can drag the star anywhere we want to go. Let go of shift. We can change the size, hold down shift, moves around. If you let go of all of them, then you're making the star as per how you like it. It isn't constrained in its proportions. So you can have it nice and wide. You can have it tall and skinny, but let's make it all nice and proportioned. Let go of the button. It draws this guy for you. Now it promoted it to a new layer, which is good, so that it didn't end up in the background and you can move this around independently all you want. But it created it as a big field of blue with this mask over it. Now the mask is telling us that everywhere that it is gray, it is blocking out the blue so we can't see it, and everywhere that it is white, we can see it. So that's where the little star is. We don't really want this to be here. We want it to just be the, uh, the star. So we're going to go back to the middle of the star, right click. Oops, I'm on the wrong tool. We're going to want to go back to any one of these guys. Then we can right click on it, and it'll show you this rasterize layer button. Click him. It gets rid of that thing over here, so we've just got the star. We can not look at the star. We can look at the star with a little eyeball. The move tool lets us move the star anywhere we want to. Let's say that we've now made a mistake and we want to make the star a little bigger. We can come up to uh, image. No, we can come up to edit. There we go. And hit retransform or control T. I always hit control T. That's why I wasn't sure where this lived. Uh, learn the shortcut. Can free transform is something that you will use constantly. Free transform brings up this little bounding box and moving over the little sides, you can reshape your star. If you hold down shift, it constrains the proportions just like last time. The ones in the middle can move this way, the ones on the sides can move it that way. If you want to be very precise, you can use these numbers up in the side. Let's say we want it to be 150% bigger that way and exactly the way it was, which would be 100% that way. You can do that. When it turns into this little two arrows with a little curve on them, it means you can rotate and rotate your triangle around like that. Or if you want to be precise, you can put in a number into the rotational box. So we're on 45 degrees. We've extended it and horizontally it's the same that it was. Now we're going to click on right click. If you click on free transform. That's where we were. So we just want to hit return instead. And it gets rid of that. And our star is all ready to go in this shape. Say we didn't like any of that. We can push command Z. 
and brings us back to here. Now that we've got a triangle, let's just park the triangle over here. Let's make another shape. We're going to change the color to this purple and make our new shape. If we click and hold down with the left mouse button, it brings up this menu here. We can click on ellipse tool. In case we just don't want to go up here and do it this way, we can do it that way. We can draw a circle. Same things apply. The shift key keeps it constrained. Let go of it, it doesn't. The space bar lets you move it around. So let's draw an oval just like that. We're going to right click in the middle of it rasterize the layer and now we've got a little shape. Let's make a square this time. So we're going to click on the rectangle tool. We'll change the color to a really light green and we'll make a long rectangle. Draws it out, right click, rasterize layer. Now we've got three simple shapes. With the move tool we can bring all these guys down here and I'm on the layer with the green rectangle, so that's why I'm moving it. If I wanted to move the oval, I would have to click on this shape too. And then that lets me move this. It's a good idea to rename these guys so you know what we're talking about. So the shape one is a star. The shape two is the oval. And the shape three is the rectangle. Assuming I can spell. Yes. Okay. So now that we know these are. Let's say we wanted to line everyone up against the left hand side. Now we could come over here and like try to line them all up manually according to the eye, but that's a little difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the rectangle, then we're going to hold down shift and click on the star. That selects all of these layers. That also makes us go to the move tool, which brings up this panel across the top. So we can align according to the top edges. We can align them all vertically. We can align them all on the bottom, but this is the one we want here. We want to align left edges. We're going to click on this guy, and it pulls everyone straight over into the left-hand side. Now, the oval is intersecting with the star. We didn't want that. So to move the oval down, we're going to click on the oval layer. We're still on the Move tool. Now we're going to hold down Shift, and then we're going to click the Move tool on the anywhere on here, but let's click it on this guy. Now the shift constrains where it can go, so it has to stay along this vertical axis. See, we can try to move it over here, but if we let go, uh-oh, that didn't work. Okay, step two, let's go back. Holding down shift only works a little bit. Like you can see that I'm moving it to the right here, but it doesn't go anywhere until it snaps away. Holding down shift keeps it as well as there as it can, as long as you don't move too far away. So we'll just move it down a little bit there, let go, and it's out of the way. We can use the history to make sure that it didn't move along the left-hand side. Or we can go up to View and Ruler. And then if we go inside the little ruler and click and pull over, this is going to give us a layer guide. And now that we have a layer guide, we can see that it matches up with there, right there, and right there. This will also work if we, let's say, make another shape. Let's make a dark red, and we're going to make, let's make a triangle this time. So we'll click this tool, the hexagon. We're going to move the sides to three. We're going to draw it out like, uh, let's make it like this. We'll let go, right click in the middle, rasterize layer, hit the move tool. Now we can drag this guy over and then he'll bump right up across like there and let go. Now everyone's aligned just like that. So that's basic shapes in Photoshop and how to line them all up.